everyone, this is Billy. Welcome to Billy Home and Creations. Today, I'm going to continue on with my little bit of fall themed pieces. And today, well, this is more so Halloween, but I want to make a cauldron. I want to make a witch's cauldron. And I have this mold right here. And it's really cute. It's got a little lid with, you know, a little bubble cap on it. Um, but it's pretty, it's got a big, big neck on it right here, if, if, if I could call it that. And so it's not really the shape of a cauldron. It would be if this was not here. Um, and I don't have any other round molds that would, you know, fit the, fit the bill. So I'm going to try to do something with this mold and I'll show you in a second. I also have a little spider mold, which I thought was really gorgeous. I think I got him off of eBay. I'll have to find the link to the lady I've gotten several of these cute molds from. And what I, else I'm going to be using is, uh, back to my soap shop mica powders. I pulled out a lime green stone and umber. Okay. And I want to make a fire pit to go along with the cauldron. So this mold I got from Timu. Boy, it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty thick. I've not used it before. Um, but I guess it has what you'd call the geode or a raw edge in it. And I'm thinking if I could color this up to where I could make like a little fire pit and have the cauldron sit on top. That's what I'm seeing in my vision. <laughs> so I'm going to use these two moles, possibly the um, spider if I have extra black resin. And I've pulled out some dollar store. Uh, these are flakes. They're, they're big flakes. And um, I'm hoping to build flames and charcoal or coal with these colors. The yellow, reddish, orange, black, and then for a lighter orange, I had a little piece of uh, ribbon, and it had these sequins in it, so I just cut that in pieces so I could have a, you know, a, a gradient from the yellow to the orange to the red. And then if you have a fire pit, you're going to need sticks or branches. So these were extra pieces I poured a while back um, when I did my little forest scene and my uh, Easter egg scene. These were extra pieces and I'm going to cut these branches up to where they'll be laying in the fire pit and uh, we'll try that. But first of all, let me try and see if I can't alter this mold a little bit. And what I have is something that's new to me and I got this off of Amazon. It's a moldable silicone putty non-hardening multi-purpose gap filler it's waterproof proof removable reusable uh excellent what do you say dielectric strength works in extreme temperatures so i just spent a moment and rolled out a piece of this silicone and what i'm hoping to do is if i can get this in the mold just above the lip that would eliminate, you know, a good three-eighths of an inch uh, top to this mold. So if I could do this without ripping it, I'm going to turn it inside out and try to get some of that silicone in there before I pour. And this I'm going to use a this that uh, stone-colored black blackish soap dye and we'll see what happens now when I pour my resin I've got three different molds going right now so if I can figure this out right I still need that lip for the lid to fill in or fill set onto so oh god I thought I wasn't recording for a second I about panicked so what I want to do is see if I can't 
set this silicone about yay far from that edge. And then when I flip it in right side out, maybe, just maybe, I can make a barrier. So let's hope so. I could go ahead without, you know, doing this. But um, I really do want a barrier here. And I was going to color that. Ugh. That rim. Anyway, we'll do that later. I'll paint it later. So let me just try to flip this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Billy, that worked out good. All right. Well, no. Where's my lip? There's my lip. I'm just going to... Now, I did something wrong. It's not in all the way. Come on. Get where you're supposed to be. Is that where it's supposed to be? Oh, what did I do? There's my rim. That's not right somehow. Is it? Oh, I know what's happening. It needs to go down further. Well, so much for that idea. I might have to cut that out of the video. Or you can just see my mishaps. How does it go? Oh, I flipped it the wrong way. That's what I did. Okay, I think. There we go. That's the outside. There. Oh, made that awfully difficult. So, because of that, I'm just going to have to try and get this silicone in there right under that lip. And if it, you know, resin, I'm sure will pour over it or around it and hopefully I can just trim it off. If it doesn't work, I'll just make another one. But I think it may. I'm going to have to push down in there. I'm making a bunch of fingernail marks in it. Now, just by looking, I am oh, not where I want it. I want it in this top part. That's where we want it. Right up in there. Okay. Now I figured it out. I can get that silicone right up to the top and we'll eliminate part of that. And like I said, if I have to, I'll just go get my Dremel and trim that top off if I have to. Okay. Here, I'm pushing. And I still have... How's my lip looking? Yes, I still need that rim, which will join at the bottom. Let me take... Mm, where's my silicone tools? Could use this. It's a bit wide. Just a moment. I had them... Oh, they're in my resin room, but I have some others. Um, gosh, I bought these from Timu. I'm just going to, they've got the pointy end for dots here. I think this will work because I broke my one with this tip. I'm just going to push that in there, but I'm getting a lip, so... All right, Billy, what's your other options? Tweezers. Get it over that. It's going to be rough. I can see that already. But I'm going to keep, I'm going to try it. Because I do want this lip right there. So this may work for me. Is 
something new. Just wanted a colander shape. Push it, I'm pushing. I'm going around and I'm pushing. And like I said, my fingernail's going into it. As long as I keep it away from inside of that. Okay, I found a I found a technique, a way to push that away. We'll go around. Come on, you. We're gonna decorate the top of the cauldron anyway, but I still want that lid to fit properly. Okay, kind of distorted that a little bit. See where it's too close right here. Push that over. Now, if I'm thinking right, my resin will come up to here and I will still have that lip. Okay? I'm going to probably play for that. Play for that. Play with this for just a second. There's a loose piece of silicone. We don't want that. Get it out of there. I'll play for that. God, why am I saying that? Play for. Pay. No. Play with it. I will play with it. What if we do this? There we go. That'll that'll do it. I still have my lip for the lid. Yay! And it's not distorted. Let's double check. I think we're going to be... Hmm. The rest can come up high enough now. I'm wondering. I think it will. Um, I'm not real sure. I think it will. If not, we'll fix it somehow, but let's go with that. All right, now back to the fire pit. I'm going to mix these uh, flakes in with a little glitter when I put it in here. So um, we're going to have to go to the other room and do that. But while I'm in here, let me just take some of these twigs. And I, I'm going to have them flipped over, but I want some of them sticking up you know, beyond, beyond the fire pit. So I could maybe cut that one here. It's got my nippers. Okay. Let's lay that in there. There's a piece going to stick maybe over there. And I still have room for resin to be on top. I have probably, oh, a good quarter of an inch. I'll just try that again over here. We'll just have a piece. Let's do the same angle. One here, one there. Where should I cut that? I can cut this here. It won't matter. Maybe trim that edge a little bit so it doesn't look like a real like I really broke it off. That. I'll stick those like. Well, it's not quite good enough. So let's just cut that there. Have that stick out a little bit. Now this is just a guesstimate because we're not ready to set them in just yet. I'm going to trim that little edge. The resin will go catch that and smooth it out a bit. I have like pieces coming like that. Put this one down like that. That's a fat one. Just try to make it look like a little fire. I could cut that again if I need to. Because I don't have any plans for these right now. So we'll just try to make it work. But I do want it to look like a cauldron sitting on a bit of fire. That's what I want to do. We'll 
I'll just cut this off. Might be better off just to cut them all in the same size pieces, but let's have an estimate of what this is going to look like because I want them sticking out. Let's cut this one. Yeah, we can put that one like that, maybe. That one like that. Oh, I'm moving them. Like I said, I'll cut more if we need to. Like, um, this piece will give us a couple more. Set like so. Anyway, you get the idea. So, I'm going to play with this little edge a little bit on the mold. We're going to go to the other room, make up some resin, mix up some colors. And we'll try to build a little fire pit here, okay? I'll see you in a minute. I also needed to mention that everything I'm using will be in the description below. Just hit where it says more on my video page and it'll take you right to all of my affiliate links. And I have a place where I put things I've used for this particular video. Okay, hopefully I can carry this all in without spilling it and we'll be right back. Whoop. All right, here we are. I mixed up resin. Actually, I mixed up quite a bit of resin. And since I want to do clear, and I have clear, and I have other moles circling me of things I had just poured, we're going to try to get this fire pit together. Let me grab another stick. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Now, let's dump these out to the side. And what I need to do is just take a little resin at a time, and I'm going to put them a little bit in these little cups. I probably don't need that many or that big, but I've got smaller. Here, we've got silicone. Let's just do this. We've got these little silicone cups. One, two, three. Start with three colors. I mixed up, oh my goodness, 12 ounces of resin because I did two pours already to finish up something else. So, let's see what happens here. This is getting pretty thick. I just need to get this clear done. So then I can color the rest of the resin and get our cauldron finished. And I've been playing with this resin probably 15 minutes already. I did not put it in my debubbling machine because that's too much resin and I didn't want another a big batch of bubbles in the projects I just, you know, used my resin on. So, let's get some of this. I don't need the black just yet. Let's get some of this, these gold flakes. And we're just gonna dump, oh my goodness, I keep going hoarse. <clears throat> we're gonna dump a few in there. See how far that gets us. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this orange ribbon that I had cut up. Throw that in there. That's pretty. And then we're going to open up the red. Get some of that inside here. Come on, you. bigger. And we're just going to mix these up. Get them wet with resin. Oops. Can use a little more resin in that one, I believe. 
Let me get a little more. It's over to the side. I'm running out of room here. I could probably use a little more in there too. I forgot to ask how everyone was doing today. I'm good. My husband and I went to the rodeo last night. I, it's, it's a nice little local rodeo and fair. Didn't get to look around the grounds very much, but um, I enjoyed the rodeo. All right, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab my tweezers here and I'm just gonna take little bits of the yellow and put them in here, because those are gonna be the top, top of the flames. So this is, they probably won't be very pointy, but this is a geode mold. Doesn't matter to me. Just give a hint that this is what it's supposed to be. I'm getting more and more than I need, aren't I? The yellow. I just want them all to show. Put them in another mold, I'm sure what's left. I hope you can see me. We are rolling, right? Yes. I've been turning my phone on and off for every other step I've made on these other two projects I'm trying to finish so we can get caught up. Billy can get caught up and not have to panic when I need to get a video up for you. And thank you for joining me, as always. And I need to thank Miss Kathy for the cup of coffee. I appreciate that so much. enough specks of yellow. Now let's see if I can get this orange distributed across. I might not have cut these small enough, but we'll see. I may be able to share a space too. I want to have room for the red. go sideways like that, that'll work too, won't it? Mm, that's a big chunk. This is pretty ribbon. I do have a, a quite a bit of it left. Not sure what to do with it yet. But slowly but surely. Trying to use up what I have, but then I, oh, I've got to stop the Timu app. My gosh, I, I don't think I'm alone when it comes to that. And the things that I do list um, below in my descriptions from Timus, I I am able to give you the direct link, I believe, to those particular items. At least that's the way I understand it. Oh, you. Get in there. Keep going. I'm going to check my other resin because we have to color it. I'm just going to get quicker and whatever happens, happens now. I think it looks like a fire pit yet. You might get, be getting, making some headway. Might need a little yellow too. Let's do that. Let's get a little more yellow on in here. Just a few blobs and then we'll finish off with the red. Mm -hmm. 
flames mix. If I had some of these blue flakes, I could have put a little blue flame in there too. More orange. All right, let's just go in with the red. And then we'll go around the outside. I wonder if I could pour it, maybe just as simple. Without getting big globs, let's just see. Well, that's gonna be all clear to start with. There we go. Oop, big glob. I like that. Don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference between the orange and the yellow. Maybe the yellow should have been on the outside. I'm not too worried. I have more on one side than the other. Could made some more, but we're go we're okay. We're gonna call it good. Some of this over here. Sweep you over here. A little more orange. Just kind of go on the outside and we can sweep it in if we need to. I'm in your way, I'm sorry. Oh, really come on. Stick doesn't want to get it out of there. Over here. Oh, I've got to hurry. Let me stump some of that. Okay. Let's go to the red. there. Let's see over here maybe. And in there doesn't matter. Okay. There's one more good piece. There we go. Now let me move these or I'll have resin all over everything. By the way I didn't need all those right off the get go. Now for resin. Make sure it gets in there. And let's just get some sticks down or some branches. Whoops. My thumb right in it. Shoot, might not be able to see them unless I go right up to the edge. It should be all right. You should be able to see them. I'm going to put a brown top coat. Oh, excuse me. Well, yes, it'd be a top coat from here, but it's actually going to be on the bottom. Just stick these in. We've got, ooh, that's a fat one. I really can't cross them over or they'll be too thick.
We are using those up, aren't we? And there's still a lip past this edge right up there where I'm sweeping by. Oop, that thumb or that fingertip keeps going in there. I'm going to see real quickly. Let me wipe my hands off a little bit with alcohol. Checking my, I have some earrings over here. I'm looking at those. They're looking okay. I top coated them. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this, this last branch. Okay. Just get some little pieces. Whoop. They go fine. My nippers. Whoop. Fill them in. find where they flung to I really can build a fire <laughs> that doesn't look like this <laughs> maybe a little better well, that's upside down all right where else did they go a couple right here Alright, we're good to go there with our little, oh there's one, little fire pit. Where can you go? Right here, whoops. Okay, I don't think I need to add any more resin. We'll top coat that soon and that gets set up. Okay. Now, I think I might, I'm hoping I have enough for this cauldron and just go black before this gets too hot on us. Let me move all these out of the way. I've got the same, I've got moles on this tray. We're just gonna let them all cure at the same time. No heating mat. I'll just uh, cover if I can the smaller pieces or the shorter pieces. And I don't know what's left here. Let's weigh that and see what's left there. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's see. Yeah, I can't remember what the. Well, that's six, 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 six sixty-three. Well, I don't know that this will hold six. But I can't waste this resin, so I'll just make it all black. And I'll find something else to do if there's anything extra, okay? Let's just... Okay, I'm going to pour that. No, I'll just leave it in there. That's easy to clean. There's my mica, stone mica. Let me wait my gloves again. Sticking them in resin. getting quite a bit accomplished today. That was the whole point. Might be enough. Just might be enough. Alright. Stone soap dye in the soap shop. If I can open this one. Oh, these little bags. Here we go with these little bags again. I had to check to see if I'm still recording. Yes. There we go. You know, I might have just lost you for a second. My phone uh, kind of paused, so I'm adding some black um, just for you online UK pigment powder or mica powder just to tone that purple down a little bit, but it sure is pretty. I was tempted to leave it, but I'm not going to. I think I see my 
That's not my battery light going on. Well, I have been recording a while, so let's see. If I lose you, I am just going to mix this up and pour it into the cauldron mold with the lid. And if I have any extra, I'm just going to put that in a pair of Halloween earrings. What do you think? That's still pretty purpley, but I like it. We're going with it. Well, maybe another squirt alcohol ink. Okay, now we're going with it. What would Julie say? Get a riddle on it. I need to do some blooms again. If you'd like me to try some blooms, let me know in the comments section below. I was just trying to get into the fall season, maybe into Halloween a little bit, but gosh, that's two months away. All right. Still rolling, we're pouring. So, let me get that over here, and I hope that works with the silicone in it. Why do I get my gloves so gooey? I have to sit down a second. All right, here we go. Let's hope we have enough. That's my big concern right now. I was hoping I have enough resin. Ooh, that is kind of a cool color, isn't it? I do like it. I'm just going to go clear down. Okay, start filling up before I run out. Don't want to run. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I almost forgot to turn my camera on. But I'm back to the fire pit real quick. And I just um, cleaned out those little cups of dried resin from yesterday when I did the um, so-called fire flames and this is almost full this chunk right here is going to be in the way so I'm just going to get rid of that I just noticed that That's I won't save that that's too much anyway I mixed up I don't know what that is I mixed up resin to finish one project and these so I just went ahead and covered the bottom. And that's another big chunk too. I didn't cut them up. But anyway, let's get rid of that. Now I was going to do black on the bottom. I have a little bit of orange resin left. Maybe I can save that for something else. There's another one that's going to hang over or stick up too high. All right, Billy, I think we're good. Now, if I have any black left over for uh, the rest of that pot that we didn't get to fill, I'll pour it on here, okay? Might have to chip that one away too. Goodness sakes. Should have just went straight glitter or flakes and not worried about those pieces. But, uh hate to waste them. Every little bit helps. You know how spendy this can be. All right. I'm going to set that aside. Move this orange over here. Maybe I can do an earring. Back to this little bit of resin, which I have left because I started with eight ounces, believe, believe it or not, to finish up three projects at one time. Um, that's something I haven't done before, three projects at one time. So, here is the pot, and I need to hopefully fill that. So, I'm back with the stone, which looks like that purple, dark purple. I put some stone in here. I do like that color. It's probably plenty. And I can't remember if we added a little black to that. I didn't review the video yet. It's still on my phone. So I'm going to try to stir this up. Of course, I should have used a different cup. But I just want to have enough 
to finish this pot and we'll see what it looks like with that styrofoam that we um, put in the bottom of this mold to shorten it up a little bit. I'm also going to work on some embellishments for this um, pot. The little lid is cute. Well, I haven't demolded it. I'm saving that for you, but here we go. It's all set up. It's all set up there. That is a pretty color. It's nighttime here, so I think we're good. I think we're just going to go for it because this is going to be warm before I know it. And it's getting late at night. And I've had a busy day. All right, I'm pouring it. Let's let's hope. Let's hope there is more than enough. I can deal with more than enough than not enough. Here we have it, and I know there's going to be a line there, and there's going to be, there's a few bubbles right around that edge, but it's a, it's a cauldron. Huh. Oh, well, we're going to do it. I can see a little bit of change in color. It's darker, but that's okay because it's going to be on a fire. And I think I'm going to stop right at that because we don't need a lip we just need a flat bottom and there it is there's our flat bottom oh watch the bubbles four bubbles and I will come back to see you in the morning when these are set up I am um, like I said I've got three projects going at once so do you know what that means that means Billy's getting ahead of the video. I'm getting ahead of the game. Getting videos done. Now, should I put black on the bottom of that? What are you thinking? To match this? Maybe just a glob? We'll leave it alone. And it's very tacky, so I know it's gonna, it'll move probably. But you know what? I, well, I can always paint that because I have another option. What did I grab? Okay, I grabbed, oh, this is another little pumpkin mold. For, and this is an ugly pumpkin face. It's a little 3D mold. You can see his face there. But he's wearing a hat. It's a witch's hat. So let's just go ahead. We have to multicolor him, but... I don't know, that might be enough to get to the top of the rim of his hat. So let's just go ahead and try it. Wouldn't hurt. Just get that down in there. Oh, we're getting up there. Let me squidgy real quick down here. I don't know how far that tip goes down there. From the outside, it just looks like one big ball. So we'll pinch it. Let's see if it goes into the tip of the hat. I think it's in there. I'm hoping it's in there. I've squidgied, I've pinched and squeezed. And that's not a very sturdy. You know what? I wonder if that will fit in one of these. Not quite, but that's not a very sturdy mold. Let me see what I have over here. Whoops. I'm gonna set it in, in here. In this measuring cup. Look at that wobble. Yeah. It's a soft mold. But so the, the little stand it's standing on is soft too. We'll just go for it. Get my little stick and we'll finish pouring that in. Oh no, you can't see me, can you? The dark hat. That's not gonna work well. 
Oh, so now what to do with the orange? I'm not going to mix it into this. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, I have this. Oh, well. I don't know if I'll make up orange again unless I absolutely have to. It's almost to the top of his hat. Clean up my mess. I'm looking around to double check that I have done everything I was planning on doing. Okay. There. And I've just taken up eight minutes of your time with this one. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess. Well, with this orange, what can I do? Oh, oh, oh. You now, if I can move something without really shaking things up a bit, let me just move this to the side. Hi, everyone. These are all set up, and I'm so, I'm very excited to unmold these pieces. But first, let's look at these little pumpkins I did with the leftover resin. Now they may be a little soft, but I'll just set them out flat. And they should be okay. And we'll make a set of earrings. They don't have any bubbles, I don't think. That's cute. There you go. Good little pumpkin face. Don't know if I should outline the detail of the face, but probably not. So I don't think well, I might do a I might do a little back. Um, what do I want to call it? Top coat to smooth these areas out. But there's our little pumpkins. These are cute moles. I've got them from Timu, and everything I have used will be. As always, in my description box below. And there is our pumpkins. We also, we also did another pair of coffins. Those came out real nice. I'm going to find a sticker or something to put on those. I don't have any skull molds. Well, there's a earring skull, but I don't have any skull molds. So those... Those turned out cute, right? Pumpkins, coffins, and the boo. Now, I did it again. I overfilled the little boo. So those will need some cleanup. I need a lot of cleanup on that one. I overspilled it. Overfilled it. But there's our little boo earrings. So I'll finish those up when we finish the cauldron and the fire pit. Should we do the cauldron first? Let's do the cauldron first. All right, here's our little lid. Hopefully I got all the way around the edge without any bubble holes. It's got a cute little top, look at that. So cute, I'm just gonna take my knife and Trim that little edge right there. It's a bit sharp. So, I like the color. It turned out really nice. Purpley silver. Now, I'm excited to see how this silicone putty worked out on the top. And I'm sure I might have to do some cleanup up there. But we're not done with this yet. I can tell you that. Not done with this yet. A little alcohol in here. Get that down in there a little bit. Squish it around. And here we go. Don't want to tear it. I don't want to tear it. Okay, well, that's gonna, oh, I like the color. Oop, I do like the color. Come on, you. Just pull you down. There's the line of where I had to add resin. It matched up, but you can still see the line. And that's okay. 
Come on, baby. Let's get out of there. I've got some moles to clean today. Okay, here we go. I think, I think, I think. I'm going to have to put that to my chest maybe to pull it out. Maybe not. Here we go. I'm hoping that worked out on the rim. Oh, looky there. There's our silicone putty. Let's see if we can get... Oh, okay. All right. Oh. oh, I think we did it. It's going to be rough on the top. I know that. But let's see how well this comes off. Oh, there's a hole. But you know what? I think I if I just level it up across the entire top should be able to uh, put that lid on. Oh, come on. You're not supposed to stick to resin. Well, it said it stays soft. It definitely did. How am I going to get that off of there? Not sure. Oh, I'm gonna have a rough edge, that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna play with getting that off. And I'm not worried about a big lip or a problem because we're going to decorate it. A little extra resin here. Let's see if the lid will fit right in there. Should. Should. Yes. Ta -da. I'll clean this up. We'll see what we have. Okay. Because we're not done with this video yet. Let's try silicone on my fingers. Save that resin. I've got a little pot over there. I'm curious about this. I'm curious about this. I hope it looks like a fire pit. Not sure. Thought about putting brown or black down there, but oh, that came out nice. Ready, ready, set, go. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, the sticks aren't properly laid out like a fire pit would be, but look at our edge. That's what we wanted. This is one of those raw edge molds, and uh. Looks like fire, doesn't it? And we're gonna set. Oh. Let me raise you up. Hold on. Manual power. Okay, come on. There. Now, imagine. Imagine this all cleaned up. There's our fire pit. All right, and look at this pot. Ooh, and it's going to be right there sideways. It's going to be looking like that. Isn't that great? Oh, I love that. Love that. Okay, I'll be cleaning up this mold, and I'm going to get back to you when we're ready to decorate. So in the meantime, have a great day. We'll see you in a little while. Bye. Okay, I'm ready to get back to our little fire pit and cauldron. Oh, I still have quite a few. Well, I still have things to do to totally complete them. But first of all, I wanted to let you know I sanded the back side of the little fire pit. Now, it's got a few pieces of glitter here. I didn't want to sand those, so I'm going to put some bumpers on. And when I'm, I'm just going to use these little bumpers that I I got from Amazon quite some time ago. There's a whole selection of different sizes. Um, these four are round. And I think that's the last of these I have. So I'm just going to get some E6000. And, you know, this glue is great, but it always gets a film on top 
where it's rather rubbery and you might think it's a rubbery rubbery glue but you know it is to begin with and then it really hardens up well so I'm just gonna peel that nasty little glue off and I'm just gonna take my little micro stick here and pull my little rubber bumper off because I like to glue them on just to be safe and I don't want to put a lot on because I don't want them oozing out the sides but if you're 63 yeah what was I going to say yeah E6 3000 oozes out you can always just um, peel it peel around where it's oozed out before it sets hard and I'm just going to go four across from each other pretty much directly across from each other and that way this will not scratch a table or any surface you put it on Let me move that a second so here we go I'm just going to eyeball them straight across from each other two to go don't need very much but I need a little more than that here we go and then we're going to find center eyeball center and I'm thinking it's right about here push that down and the last one piece of cake something so simple is quite beneficial I think okay now I'm gonna go straight across and call that good okay I tried to have the gap about the same from the edges put this on now to finish this off I've just taken a soft brush and I'm gonna go around to see these sanded edges you can tell that it's sanded and it's lost its gloss so I am just going to take a little bit of my polyurethane shiny gloss finish and just go around I can do it better this way the edges or you know I could have taken a decuart pen a gold pen and went around that way but I think I don't want the edge of this fire pit standing out I want it to continue to look rather raw so I'm just gonna dab a little on here it dries clear and uh, you won't be able to see those sanding marks now back to the cauldron I was able to get that silicone off with just an exacto knife and a little you know pick a toothpick and um, gosh I'm so pleased with how that turned out to look just like the shape of a cauldron just by taking that bit of uh, the original mold off so what I want to do cauldrons need handles so I need to see and I don't want to go very deep I've got this template here and that's not going to help me it's too big I have another one templates are great you all need templates and I have to show you I bought this whole set of templates templates from Timu I mean there is every shape size that you could even want I want the circles I want the big circles and of course I don't have the big circles okay Billy cut take that out nothing work all right scratch that I'm eyeballing This 
set as a grid so I can see um, center to center and I'm just going to get this on the best I can and with a white sharpie oops I can't get it off Okay, I'm going to go back to this one, set it on the best I can, and what I like about templates is most of them show you center. So guesstimating with these lines on the side, I'm just going to mark close to center here on the side and here on the side. Make sure I can see that. There, okay. So I'll just pump that a little bit. All right, now there's my mark, and there's my mark. So I'm just gonna take a ruler and maybe come down. I'm trying to eyeball. I know some have handles on the sides, and I'm not going to make handles, but I know you could make them with, um, you know, jewelry pieces or just wire. That's not a raw edge ruler, so tape's better. I'm just going to go up. I can bend it. I'll put that on the edge, and I think I'll come down quarters or excuse me three eighths I'm just gonna make a mark right there three eighths go to the other side where's my line oh don't tell me I lost you come on right it should be there it is from the edge I'm just gonna put that two incher on the edge there it's hard to hold and go three eighths So I'm going to go outside to the shop and I'm going to drill just a couple holes in this. And I will be right back. Okay, now I have holes in the cauldron and I found a piece of rusty old wire in the shop. Now I have a tool that's supposed to take the bends out, but I don't think that'll work. I should probably take it out and hammer it, but anyway, don't expect it to be smooth, but we're going to put a wire handle on this cauldron. I'll get the big dents out. Now I just grabbed a can, fruit can. And I'm just going to try to bend that around. It's a pretty strong wire. I imagine it's like 22 gauge or something like that. We don't need a big piece. And I don't think we need the arc that big at all. I need a way to kind of lay this down so you can see what I'm trying to do here. But I'm trying to Yes, how big of a handle just by looking guessing is what I'm going to do here. Let's see, straighten the sides a little bit. Maybe oh, I think that'll be good. So 
I'm going to go from the outside in and just get that through the hole. Did I make it big enough? I found the wire after I drilled the hole. Okay, we're good. Now I could just bend that up in there. Come on, you. I need a piece to play with. But maybe what I will do, if these little tools will allow me, is to just try to, I don't know if you can see in there, try to make a little loop. So I don't want it to scratch the inside, but it just, it just might. That's a pretty hard wire, so I don't know. It's, can't really make a very good loop, but there is one. And what if I just bend it up or something like that? Squeeze it flush. Bring that close to the edge. And if I pinch it, I don't want to scratch my mold. My there we go. So much for shaping it, eh? Now I'm just gonna go in the other side. Let's see, come on. I need to get quite a bit out of there. I have to cut it, of course. Let's see, how's that looking? That's too much. Still need it in there. Oh, I probably could have made a bigger hole, Billy. shorter come on just a little more I can pull it I don't know oh. let's cut that's too tall isn't it here we go here we go I'll fix it so I'm going to cut in there and just leave enough space to make a little loop on this side. Get my nippers here. Give it some strength. Wiggle it. I don't want to break my fire pit. Tony, are you watching? Remember, I'll remember how you put it sometimes. The struggle is real. Is that what you said? Yes. The struggle is real. Tony watches all my videos and she always comments and I enjoy it. Thank you very much, Tony. I get rid of that. So let's just try to make another loop here I'm going to loop it to itself so it's touching itself almost this is a thick wire I didn't want to do a bright wire right Okay, now I think I can pinch it and bend it so it will stay in there and it's not going to go any place. Bend it. I know the light is poor. I'm sorry about that. Bring it up in there. Okay, we have a handle. I don't want to chip that edge. Okay, we 
have a handle. Now, I guess trying to form it really didn't matter much, did it? Bring it up a little ways. I am liking this more and more. I'll tell you, I think this might have been one of my better creations. It's not perfect. like it to be able to lay down if we want it to. Okay, there. Probably pin that a little more. Fussy, fussy, Billy. There we go. All right, now, that handle's not complete. I thought about getting a bead, but I don't want a bead. So how can we do this so you can see me? I come back over here. All right, there. So I grabbed some more wire. This is pretty bendable wire, and I think it's got a black um, rubber on it, but it's the only black I had. So, like I said, I could have grabbed a bead. I didn't want to go rooting through beads. And maybe, oh goodness, we got a mess. Let's try this amount right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball the center. And we're just going to get a piece of this, wrap it around. that. Pinch it down and I'm going to, I want it, I want it pretty, how wide do you think it would be? Like half an inch maybe? Let's try half an inch. So I'm just going to wrap around here. I'm going to skip over to the other side. I think you know what I'm trying to achieve. Those little coil handles. piece under and uh, voila I wish it was over a little bit there you go there's our handle okay one more thing we're gonna decorate this we've got to have something coming out of the pot everyone let's finish this cauldron today if we can if I can. All right, I'm going to give it a try. Let me show you what I'm what I've been up to so far. Well, I ordered these metallic pens from Timu and there's um how many is there? I can't even see. 2 4 6 10. 10 different metallic colors. And there was a really nice green here and it's a perfect green for the cauldron. So what I had done is I was just trying out this pan and I could wipe this off, but I think I'll leave it. And I was just coloring, oh, little, you know, drips for where, you know, it has bubbled over. And I think I'll, I'll stick to that. Um, I, it could use a couple coats, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to do something else. So I'm just going to color these, this little area in. I did one side. And I'll just do the other. It's sticking really well. It's staying on there. So, um, 
yeah, I just sort of just scribbled around the edges here and liked how that color turned out. So we're going to just go around this side here. Oh, and I don't know. Maybe I should go up a little around the rim. We'll see. I'm just going to color this in. I had to put this aside for a few days, but I hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all very, very much. I have to answer some more comments. Appreciate that. It means the world to me. It keeps me, uh, keeps me, keeps me going and th thinking. Well, maybe I am on the right track here. I still haven't reached a thousand subscribers, but slowly but surely we're growing, and that's okay. It's just something I enjoy, and I hope you get a lot out of it. Um, I was thinking more about my slogan, and the more I think about it, I like just uh, instead of recycled and renewed, because that's not what I'm doing a lot of lately, I think I really like just out of the box. So I do like to go out of the box, or even above and beyond, that might be a, a way to go too, but we'll see. I'm still pondering it. So there we go. Edges are done. It's a pretty green. It looks like a uh, green goo. But rather than leaving it like that, this is what else I've done. I, I needed some half circles and I don't have like green half circles, but I came across um, some of these that I had, oh, Timu again, I got from Timu. Some of these, uh, I've got some yellow ones here that I, that were left over from some of that uh, uh, bead painting, gem painting. So I've got some yellows, that's a different size. And then I also have smaller ones like this. So I've pulled a few of those out. And then I have these little green bubbles, and I wish I could have got big ones like that, because then I wouldn't have had to do what I'm going to do next. So I stretched out a piece of uh, packaging tape, and I'm, I just threw these little ones down on here, flip them over, so they're going to stay put. And I'm going to take this green pen, I'm going to color these, see like I did over here. It, it works out great. I may have to put a, you know, polyurethane seal on this once I'm finished. But for the most part, I'm just going to start coloring these little half circles. And uh, then we're going to place them on the cauldron. And then she shall be finished. Okay? Just simple. I, I did put some space in between them so I can just go, I don't know if you can see very well, just go around the, the tops and the sides with the pen. And I'll continue to do this. And I think we might have to do some more, but for the time being, this is what I'm going to start out with. So... That's what I'm doing. We're going to really decorate this up. I do like it so far. So I will continue on and catch up with you when these are done and they're dry. Okay? Be back in a short. You know, that really didn't take too long at all. Now I just need to get them off of this packing tape. Um, also, what I wanted to say is if you didn't want to go to this extreme, you could actually just be settled with, you know, the painted on green like that. Or I was going to try it as an example, but I can just explain to you where you just take a hot glue gun and, you know, make some thick globs on your, um, oh, geez. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. She drew a blank. Cauldron. 
and then paint it green or purple or whatever color you'd like. But I'm going to go ahead with this plan. Most of them are dry. If not, I can touch them up, but it's just a matter of let's get them off of this tape without messing up my paint job here. And then I think I'm just going to use some E6000 and tack these on. I think that worked out pretty darn good. I was really lucky because I was looking through, you know, of course, my mica powders and paint, thinking, oh, I need some bubbles, and I just didn't know what I was going to do without having real bubbles. So, lo and behold, I realized I had these little things. And I don't know if you can order these in solid colors like this. Maybe you can, but I just saw the assortment packs. I think, and you know, they'd be great in, in jewelry. Or any type of resin project. I do like the colors they came with, you know, that were on them. But I just needed to grab some of my E6000. I have a broken lid so that's why it, it goops up like this every time I open it so I can just get that jelly bit of it off. It's like jelly actually. It gels up first and then it gets very very harm, hard hard and I don't want to put um, super glue on because super glue tends to react to the resin sometimes it works great but if you get a little misplaced where you don't want to have it then it'll it'll bugger you up so let's just see I want to do a few on the rim and well maybe there's a gap for a big one and I oh there's a gap right there let's just get a big one in it Here we go. And I think there's a glare from the lamp I have that I need to move a little bit. Okay. There. That's the plan. Let's try one of these. See, I'll have to repaint that one because I really smudged that one. It's tedious, but this type of work is something I really enjoy. Um, I don't consider it repetitive. I just consider it tedious and a bit relaxing. It just really does relax me. And I think that's what creativity is supposed to do is, is relax you. Let your cares just fall away and create. And I'm thinking if the bubbles bubble, would the big ones be on the bottom that slid down? Or would you have little ones on the bottom? Or would you have big ones? I don't know. We're just going to put them on there. What do you think? Put them up closer. Then I can fill in the gaps with these. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is what I'm going to be doing and I can catch up with you because I'm going to probably have to paint some more of these little bobs because I want to cover all the areas with the green paint. So here I go. Wish me luck. I'll see you in a little while. Have a great day. This will probably take me an hour or plus, so you take care. We'll see you in a bit. Well, here we go. What do you think of that? I had to color quite a few more little bubbles, but I went all the way around. Looks really good. 
So now, well, I'm back. I want to try something else. I'm not going to fight with a syringe. Good idea, but not working. I'm just going to brush on some glue because I want to seal these bubbles anyway. So we're just going to go this route. I'll just do a little section at a time. Cover the all the bubbles. That way I know it's going to be sealed in. And I can just try this way. What do you think about that? I think that'll work better. Oh yeah. I'm on to something. On to something now. Get these little ones in. There's they're tiny. Oh goodness. They're very tiny, but this will be quicker. Don't know about you, but you get to a point sometimes where oh you put a lot into something and you love doing it, but then on the other hand it's like, oh god, I can't wait to finish this. That's where I might be right now. And I'm only going to be able to do one side at a time, I think, so I don't um, have them run down this run down when I set this up. Or go to do the other side. I think that adds quite a bit. Just the little bubbles. I really think so. We're good. We're good. We're golden. Now, this is what I'll be doing for the next little while. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. And when I'm done with this, we're done. Yay! Back a little bit. Stay with me. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm back. I am done and I'm so excited about this piece. This is this is awesome, I must say. Okay, there is our our base, which actually is a coaster mold that we turned into a little fire pit. I have the protectors on the bottom so it doesn't scratch. I went ahead and finished all of the little balls around the side and I reinforced them with my polyurethane so those shouldn't go anywhere. My handle turned out great. The little lid fits perfect. And whoops, there you have it. I'll take some stills. This was pretty amazing not having a cauldron mold. So we did ad lib and make it work. So here you go. I'll take some pictures. I love this one. I hope I can get this one in on Claire's collaboration for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. Sending big hugs. Bye.